What's up everyone, OSRS Nirvana. Today we're going to be going over some of the most expensive and polarizing items in RuneScape, as well as some of the just most used and traded items in RuneScape. We're going to be seeing how the prices have been reflected through game changes, um, in specific throughout the last couple weeks, two months. So if you guys enjoy these type of market videos, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, starting off here, we have maybe our biggest mover, and that's going to be the Harmonized Orb. Um, so this is a high-level item. It's an expensive item, typically sitting between 300 mil to 320 mil, but as you can see in the graph indicates, with the anticipation of Desert Treasure 2, this has spiked all the way up past 400 mil, and there's been sales for as high as 450 mil. With the release of Desert Treasure 2 this morning, however, prices are crashing down back to that 350 million range. I find it very interesting. There was a lot of profit potential here. Um, there was speculation around this and if it would be used throughout the community. And if you had a lot of GP, you could have invested in this and you definitely could have made some money. As far as, you know, what I was doing with this, I was recommending my friends if they needed it and they didn't have it yet just wait because even if it was a super useful item for uh desert treasure 2 as the quest is released and more people complete it and less people need the orb for that the price will go down no matter what um and we can already see that being reflected here so number one harmonized orb next up we have the bond which is an interesting item to always come back and look at price trends from time to time as it really can kind of dictate a lot of things and one of those things is, you know, overall game health as well as, in particular, market health. And what we see here with the bond is a pretty fairly consistent price point between 8 to 9 million. And where it's sitting right now is right around that 8.2 to 8.4 million mark with prices uh, creeping up to 9 million occasionally. Um, bonds are an interesting item, as said, and it's something to definitely look at. Next up, we have the Fang, and this is sitting right around 35 mil, with quite an increase here displayed by the graph and price trends of late. Let me know below if you guys have any exact, you know, thesis as to why this is. It's a very interesting item. Changing things a bit, we have Magic Logs next, and this is something that has seen a bit of an increase with the forestry update. Um, from time to time, I have people ask me, you know, what should I invest in or how do you look at things to invest in? What are some indicators? And within this game, uh, an easy answer for this um, oftentimes are things that are going to have an increase in utility or at least a perception of an increase in utility. So uh, this is something that is, you know, going to be used more or has been used more now the forestry update has seen its peak hype and peak popularity so this is something that i wouldn't you know view it as an investment at this point but if you look at historic price trends for magic logs this is um, a resource that generally doesn't you know really increase in value and we did see an increase in value here with the forestry update so um, just kind of a tip is when an update's announced, when, you know, there's changes on the horizon and there is hype, look at some items that are going to be utilized more or needed more for that update. Of course, with investing, there always is that inherent risk, but um, this is, you know, essentially a way I found to make good money in this game. Next up, we have the Dragon Warhammer, which is currently sitting at about 32 million GP. Now, this is an item that you know, always has utility, it's got a great spec, it's great for PVMing, and it also has use for PvP, so this is a, a very useful item, um, and with Bounty Hunter coming out recently, it's been a couple months now actually, so some of that hype from that um, is starting to wean. Um, so this is the Dragon Warhammer, about 32 mil. Typical, I haven't seen anything too crazy, I mean if you look at the graph, there was a a short-term spike there in price, but 32 mil to 35, 36 mil 
generally is a fair value for here. Anything else, you want to look at a fair value gap. Sticking with the theme of spec weapons, we have one of the most coveted spec weapons with the Dragon Claws. Um, this is something that is super useful for PvP and even has its uses in PvM. Um, most PvP players, you know, own these or want to own these because of their accuracy. It's just a great spec weapon and it, it remains as one of the best in the game. And really the only entry to use these is 60 attack, so it's fairly low entry. Um, keeping people from this, though, would be just the price point, which, as you can see, steady between 82 to 88 mil is what I've seen as a comfortable price point here. If you can find these within that price range, I would feel comfortable purchasing um, for personal use as far as an investment. I wouldn't really touch these right now. Um, they're pretty consistent in price. You could make a bit here, but it seems like something you would have to sit on for a while. And with the um, massive price to buy in, I guess I don't see the value uh, with claws as an investment right now. Um, it is something that always has that potential to skyrocket in value, though, because it is such a useful um, spec weapon. You know, say that there's a new raid announced or something of this nature, there's always going to be that period where claws increase in price because of the hype. You know, it could come out that they're not going to be useful for that particular raid and then the price is going to go back down. But, you know, if you own a pair of these in your bank, look out for something like that and you might have a chance to make a little bit of GP there. So 82 to 88 mil, normal for these here. Um, and that's about it. Moving forward, we have an extremely endgame type item with the Tumakin Shadow, recently released with the most recent raid. Um, this is basically the mage equivalent to the Twisted Bow. It has great utility, it's really good for what it's used for, and it's, it's extremely rare. So that leads to, you know, an extremely high price point, and as you can see, it's sitting right now at 1.3 bill. Um, with these items that, you know, go for billions of GP, it's always going to be volatile. Uh, at any time you could buy it and you could make, you know, 10 mil, 20 mil or something like this even after the tax. But there's so much volatility here that unless you're experienced with investing in this game, I would personally stay away from something like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Torva plate body. As you guys can see, prices have been fairly stable with a slight increase as of late. I believe this could also be due to the Desert Treasure 2 hype. Um, prices are right around that 400 mil mark. So do with this what you will. I'm not experienced with this item. I just find it interesting to view the price graph. Looking at uh, another very high level chess piece, we have the Masori top. Uh, this is sitting right about 250 mill so where the torva is useful for melee this would be the other attack style counterpart um, this was released with the tombs of a Masket raid and is a very high value item it's a very useful item again i'm not super familiar with this as it is a newish item and i haven't personally invested in it yet but looking at the price graph we can see an increase here so Take that as you will. If you have one of these, did you invest in these? If so, why? If not, why not? Finishing things off, we have the ever popular Twisted Bow. This is an oftentimes best in slot weapon for particular bosses because of its effect, scaling with an opponent's magic level. Super useful for PVM, not really used for PvP, but it is so useful and it is so rare that its price point is pretty much always over a bill. Um, if you take a look at the price trend here, we're seeing about 1.3 to 1.4 bill, which is pretty average for the Twisted Bow, and it really is kind of steady around here. I mean, prices will go down to 1.2. I've seen 1.1 um, throughout recent times, but as far as an investment option, I do know people invest in this because the volume is... I guess somewhat high for such an expensive item, not really, but it's enough to where you can make a little bit of profit if you can snipe one of these at the right time and sell at the right time. 
Again, I find I would try to stay away from items like this as far as, you know, an investment opportunity goes. Just a little too volatile for me. Um, if you happen to have one that you use for personal consumption and the price spikes, go ahead and sell it, take your profit, and then buy it back later on is what I would recommend here. So that's going to do it for our market analysis here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this and you enjoyed this type of video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.